so one spiritual abuse method that was used uh, by the spiritual mentor was after years and years of study with her, she said that uh, if I use any of the stuff that was discussed uh, in my, you know, dealings with in my YouTube videos, for instance, or talking about it publicly without mentioning her name or giving her due profits is plagiarism and it's against the law and, and uh, prosecutable by, by the law. And then, uh, uh, so, and then she said we had to take um, a certification course to make sure that it's, uh, we're representing them accurately. And then she failed me in the, in, in the, in the certification course. So I asked her which are the words that I should not use. She said it's not about the words. It's the stuff that she had learned from her teacher that she had bought the copyright when her teacher died. She, before dying, she passed it to her, sold her the copyright to the stuff. And she was always saying all beliefs are falsehoods and, and people are in prison. So the stuff that we were discussing, if all beliefs are falsehood, first of all, then what is the, the content that you're copywriting? Secondly, she always told us the stuff is coming from the higher selves. So she's claiming the copyright to the stuff that came through her, which doesn't seem right. Also, the universal truths being spoken, and she's claiming the copyright. And then she had also told us not to use the words God or prayer and other stuff used in religious, uh, term, other religious terminology that she says are falsehoods. So everything else is not right. And what she taught us is copyrighted. And then how do I distinguish within what is and what's just universal truth? What's my own ideas? I don't know. So we've been talking to each other, all this stuff, the same stuff for five years. So then I have to think about it, that fact. Like, like I can't think or think for she or she, according to her, if I were to hold her, what she says about that being having copyrighted the, the content we talked about, then if I were to take that seriously, which I did for a while, then I have to be worried about what I'm talking about in my YouTube channel. Which of it is she claim, is she going to claim is her own, her ideas and she has the right to. You see, so that's, that's one thing that she did amongst the many others. Another was for two years, she was scolding me saying anything I said, she was, she was saying, you bring in this on yourself because of your negative beliefs, you're playing victim. Despite my repeated request that she stop and that I wasn't doing that. She was doing this and why would I stay with her? Because at the same time she was doing this, she was telling me, that we've been together for many, many lifetimes and she's so devoted and dedicated to to me and, and, and loyal and that we've gone through this many times. When I was asking her, is, are you doing this because you want me to leave? Because I said in front of the group, uh, some of this stuff doesn't sound right. She was saying no. And to this day, when I ask her about it, she says, you're assigning motivation that isn't accurate. So giving me extreme contradicting signals at the same time, why? To confuse me? Because I still don't know, other, other than it's a malicious purpose, which was what the tenant scammer was in my house for a year and a half, was doing the same gaslighting methods. The tenant scammer moved in afterwards. She had said the, the spiritual mentor had started her method. And the two of them were triangulating together. The scammer herself gave me a note in which she says, after having talked to someone who knows more about you than I do, which is referring to her because she was having sessions with her about me. First stuff which I had paid for myself with the intention of her getting help about our situation. So I, my prayer is that all of 
the causes of this. There, the scam, the 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 partnership between the scammer and the mentor, how it came about, what the she was told by the scammer in the the three sessions that they had had together, one of which I had paid for it, that turned her against me, which is what what she had done with the cops. She had told the cops bad things about me, which had turned them against me. So I want all of these revealed publicly. I want to know how it came about. This this uh, this year and a half long occupation of my house by a criminal scammer, supported by the cops, triangulated with the with the spiritual mentor. I want to know all of these methods used, all of the people involved and all the people they've done this to in the past, revealed publicly. In Jesus' name, amen.